Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. I have to get right into it, but first, let me tell you, I am, I have had so much fun being me and having the life that I love to live and the life that I currently have. You know, coming up as, um, you know, what they call a former latchkey kid and uh, going through an adoption process and a teenage parent, college dropout, uh, things have gone so well for me over the years. Worked in corporate in the corporate world for well on uh, nearly 20 years, and you know I've made it to 45 years old, and 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 I, my son was oldest son was recently married to a wonderful young lady, which I finally get a daughter, and I didn't have to go through all of the things that come along with having a daughter. So I'm I'm riding high right now, and the business is going, and it's going to get better, and life is going to continue to get better, and what I wanted to discuss today. Is I wanted to talk about something that I was really, I really didn't particularly care for calling myself for years, and that was a salesperson. I really did not like the fact or the connotation of being a salesperson. But a number of the, the positions that I had was I, when I was in the corporate world, I had to sell myself. And man, you just, I would do good, but it was people who would do better, and I know I could have done better. But for whatever reason, I just didn't believe in myself being a salesperson. And what I would say is a, you know, a salesperson, I would always think of a salesperson as that, that plaid coat wearing, sport coat wearing, uh, used car salesman. That's what I always thought a salesperson was. Slimy, sleazy, and I would, not, I would never even take the title as sales. I never would do it. But as I began to mature, as I walked around and I learned and, and I started to find out who I really was and the things that I've done, you find yourself selling every day. In almost everything you do, you're selling. Well, in this particular case, not only with the group of people that I've uh, attached myself with and the, the, the benefits of being in there and the information that I've learned, I start to put two and two together that you're selling everything. You sell yourself as far as relationships. Don't you sell yourself to the other person who eventually could become your spouse or a good friend or a running mate or whatever part of your crew? When you go looking uh, for a job, uh, uh, um, an interview, you're selling yourself. You're trying to get that person on the other end to believe in and trust in you that you can do whatever you're saying you can do. <laughs> so you're selling yourself. There are buyers and there's sellers. Everybody is not a salesperson. Though. Everybody is not very good at being a salesperson. Everybody doesn't know how to get the product knowledge and all, all of the little intricacies that come along with uh, selling. The, uh, the ways that you can talk to people, the voice inflections, um, the wording that you may use, the timing. All of that is key. And this is what I wanted to talk to you about. I want to do a quick little series, three or four videos, really quickly, less than five minutes. I pref I, uh, I, act to, I look forward to doing, and it's just talking to you about selling. Am I a master salesperson? No, not at all. But what I'm doing is, is I'm taking information from other people who have created huge amounts of wealth, and I've done the work for you. I've done the due diligence, and I've studied all of the information that they're provided, and I'm going to condense it and give it to you. For instance, this particular series, I'll be dealing with uh, a Zig Ziglar, Zig Ziglar, one of the most foremost known salespeople ever. The terminology that he uses, the wording that he uses, the explanations, the little uh, uh, innuendo, innuendos, everything that comes along with it, the analogies, I'm going to provide that for you. Just really quickly, so we're going to talk about sales. The ins and outs of sales. We'll talk about the cost versus price. We'll talk about uh, the, the quality clothes. We'll talk about, you know, the long range benefits, the long, the, the benefits in long term of having a product. We'll uh, talk about how, you know, cheap does not always mean good. You know, so we have to talk about a certain and a specific mentality to help you as well as to help me become better at what we do and in this particular case it's selling 
So this is Thomas and Marble Conversation Corner. I decided to stop off at a park. I'm in uh, on the southwest side of Chicago doing some things. Uh, I have to get back. You know, I'm a west sider, but I'm going to get back to where I belong and do some things in, in this world. Get back to it. Talk to you. Don't forget. Please, man. Be smart. Think first. Think first. Use this. Think first. Be smart. There's nothing wrong with thinking before you do something. It's always be, at, be better to have a response instead of reaction. A response means you thought it out. A reaction means you just did it. Okay? Let's go further with it. Keep in contact with me. Hit me up. My number is always listed. My website, www.thomasamall.com. You can always hit me up on YouTube at my YouTube channel. And come on, subscribe to it. You can see all of the new things that I bring out. Hit me up on Facebook. Click the link below, thomasmall.com. We're doing some really big things. Talk to you soon. Peace.